photo mount by a GTX right now. That's fine. Always fun to work around everything going on the shop. Welcome to this week's episode of Walkthrough Wednesday and happy July 4th for you, Independence Day. I hope everybody's uh, having a very happy and safe July 4th with their families or with their friends and enjoying themselves. Uh, here we are today in the shop. Behind me, I've got the 1968 Camaro. Uh, just came down from the paint shop. I think Russ, who I very much appreciate filling in for me last week while I was on vacation, uh, touched on the car in the booth. So we've got it back down uh, on the frame. Just wiring going on, front suspension going in. Um, I believe this is some ride tech stuff here. We've got that's the official model of blue um, that we worked very hard to match perfectly. What I like here, we've done for practicality, is we've coated like the inside of the of the trunk with with a like a rhino protective liner and color matched it. Um, so just for just for added usability and protection, uh, just because we want this car to get driven and get used. Uh, so, really happy with the progress on this. It's coming along well. Uh, we're going to hop over here. We've got the 72 Mach 1. Uh, grab a green car that we've been kind of updating you on a little bit here and there. Uh, motor's about to go into the car. Colt's got it up here on the cherry picker. and uh, He's avoiding me at the moment. So, we got the motor in. Check it out. 72 Mach 1. That was quick, right? Got some uh, 17 inch wheels and tires um, ready to go on with these uh, Willwood upgraded six piston brakes there. Um, so just taking this car, it's a really nice car and, and making it a better driver uh, for the customer so he can enjoy it, take it out, play with it, and not have to worry about things breaking and uh, uh, have fun with it. Get the Chevelle update. We've been updating you guys pretty regularly on the Chevelle here. Um, just because we've been working really hard, a lot of progress on all of the custom fabrication. Uh, so I think last time I did the video, we had, had bumper and lower splitter finished. Uh, Brian just finished up the grill surround here. The bracing, we've got the um, raised edges there. We've got the same depth back in behind as you do on both the openings here and here. So we've uh, we stayed continuous with, with that. I'm uh, trying to keep everything cohesive with the design and uh, making really good progress on this. So, so just keep this image in your mind. That they take down. I was going to pick it up. <laughs> keep that image in your mind when you look at the front end. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying watching this car come to life from paper. I know I am. So, let's head up to the motor room. All right, so we're here in the engine shop this week. Uh, I want to show you one that we're finishing up here. We've got a... 5.7 uh, base, 392 long block. Um, let's see, Frank's got one head on here. We've got one getting ready to go on. This car is actually going in the Challenger that we're going to show you in just a minute. Um, if you come over here, you see the other head getting ready to be assembled. Uh, this is, we've ported the head so you get some more airflow there. And everything ready to go in. Uh, this is done with all Mala internal components. Um, as always, we use we use Mala stuff because it's the best in the business and it holds up to the power that we're trying to put to it. Um, cool thing about this build is that it's actually going to be just an NA car when it's all done. Uh, no supercharger or turbo, so just just big motor going back into a uh, RT challenge. Always like to come see what Mitch is doing. Mitch is Mitch is great at helping us out on camera, and he's always got really cool projects. So this is new from, uh, from a couple weeks ago. Mitch, tell us what you got going here today. We got 2018. Dodge Ram 2500 6.4 liter V8. Uh, doing the Magnuson 2.3 liter eight pound kit install on a, on this bad boy. Uh, just so you know, they don't make a kit for this. This is really? all custom install. Wow. Uh, so we had a, quite a few that. modifications to do to get it in here. Can you, can you talk a little bit about what you had to modify? Uh, basically, um, Intercooler had to be relocated. Uh, water pump had to re be relocated. Uh, quite a few little brackets inside the motor bay here. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty full. Looks like a heart patient, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, so and, Mitch brings uh, up a really great point about what we do here is just just because a vehicle doesn't necessarily have a plug and play kit to supercharge it doesn't mean that we can't figure it out. Uh, it takes a little extra time and some extra work, some engineering, but that's why we have guys like Mitch to do it. Um, this truck is actually a Kelderman truck, so we've done three of the Fords, and you had to modify that first Ford first gas. One, yeah, the Ford, yeah. first Ford gas, it was the same deal. Um, it was close on this one. This was about a week and a half worth of modifications. It was about three. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, so, well, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah. But, so, uh, so a week and a half worth of modification to get the Magnuson supercharger to work on the 392 here. Tuning. Don't forget about the tuning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to custom tune oh, it, too. Oh, yeah, it'll be a which, custom tune, yeah. for sure. So, I mean, uh, yeah. there ain't no can tune going to fit this. Right. You know? Yeah, uh, so the modifications to the supercharger and then the custom tuning that we do here in-house uh, are just a couple of things that really make us stand out above uh, your normal everyday shops. You know, things we can do nobody else can do. Exactly. So, thanks, Mitch. I always appreciate your time. and uh, Thank you, Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like we've got uh, our CEO, Russ, and some customers here checking out the car. Um, let's go talk to them and see how it's Hey, Brownie, what's going on? Hey, bro. So uh, I want to introduce everybody to Scott Tilly and his son, Scout, who are the proud owners of number seven Black Series here on the list. Um, Scott, we really appreciate you, you know, choosing Petty's Garage to build your car. Absolutely. Um, just tell us a little bit, what made you want a Black Series uh, when we announced the project? Um, well, I started collecting cars, Scout and I did, together maybe four years ago, and we were buying older-made American muscle cars, and a friend of mine brought me down here, met Russ, uh, three, four years ago, however long ago it was when you guys first started making Mustangs, mm -hmm. and I think I told Russ I've never been a Ford guy, and Russ took me for a drive, and that changed my mind, right. <laughs> and uh, so I feel like these are future classics. Right. I mean, there's only so many of these being built. Petty Garage is the place to do it. Obviously, the, the workmanship here is second to none, and we feel like we're buying a collectible that's brand new. Awesome. Well, we're glad you, we're glad you feel that way. Um, so you're local, right? Yeah. Because we have a lot of customers that are you know all over the country, and then we have a lot that are that are local, which is great. You know, we talk a lot about when you build a car with Petty's Garage, you're welcome to come in periodically and hang out with us, check on your build, talk to the guys that are building the car. Um, I hope that experience has been good for you so far. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, and I just learned out today that when Scott's son Scott turns Scout. 18, Scout, Scout, Scout sorry, Scott's Scott son Scout, Scout. Yeah. <laughs> turns 18, Scott's given Scout this car. No way. Yeah, isn't that awesome? No way. I mean, you I got it right. No <laughs> way. Long <laughs> <laughs> time for you, buddy. I'm uh, Everyone I'm putting in my application to be one of Scott's kids. <laughs> so, uh, we'll no, get back to you on that if he accepts. No, I love my son way too much to give him this. And you don't want Bradley to be one of your sons. No, no, no. All right, we're going to uh, go this way. You guys can go back to work. Scott, thanks for, uh, yeah. thanks for coming by. Thank you very Glad much. Glad to have you. Thank you. Let's head on this way. This is something pretty cool. Um, every now and then, you see a build that shows back up after a few years if you haven't seen it in a while. Uh, this is actually the 2010 Challenger, one of the really early ones uh, that we completed back then when the shop had just gotten up and running uh, as a corporate build for Wix Builders. Uh, so you can see, I love that. See how the paint scheme goes all the way through the door jams. Uh, that's a Richard Petty signature uh, feature there that you see on a lot of our other builds. Uh, under the hood, we've got a uh, 6-1 base 426 uh, with a Magnuson supercharger, uh, shaker hood, one of the OG Petty's Garage uh, strut tower braces. Um, I see we've got our coilovers in here well. Well, that's part of the BASF paint. Really cool cat skin leather with uh, Petty's Garage Wix Filters logos. Uh, so you see, you know, this is this was really ahead of its time. Um, one of the first major builds that Petty's Garage did uh, before my time. So it's pretty cool to see this pop back up. Uh, I wasn't here you know, when it was completed. And, uh, uh, this really kicked off a lot of the signature things that, that we still do here today at Petty's Garage. Uh, I don't know what else we've got going on here in the shop. Still kind of in prototype phase, but we're looking to have these production ready here pretty soon. So if you have a Gen 6 Camaro and you want to put a Petty's Garage spoiler on it, Comment below and tell us how much you want it, and uh, we'll get the guys going on that. Uh, you can see we've got Magnaflow exhaust coming out here. Uh, little touches like, you know, we've, we've blacked in the SS logo, we painted on on the trunk here, the Petty's Garage logo. Uh, get 
put them on my GTX right now. That's fine. Fun to work around everything going on the shop. Uh, sticking with like what we've done on our Mustang, we've got 20 inch HRE flow form wheels, uh, Continental Extreme Contact tires, of course. Around to the front. Again, blacked out the badging. Got a nice emblem there. Uh, really simple, really clean. I believe this has got a, an Elbrock supercharger on it, uh, so definitely up in the horsepower as well. Um, so new for 2018, uh, we will continue to grow this program as, as this year goes on and then, and then revamp it for 19, but uh, excited to be offering now production Mustangs, Challengers, and Camaros here at Petty's Garage. Okay. Well, that's always cool to see when you've got two Superbirds lined up next to each other. Uh, you remember the orange one that we completed here a few weeks ago and the blue one. Uh, we did not do a full restoration on but we did a partial restoration of the, uh, the motor and the drivetrain and a few other little odds and ends. Um, really nice car, numbers matching, uh, 444 speed car, is that right? That's correct. And uh, it's got the pistol grip shifter, really cool. It's got a front bench seat in it. Uh, most of those are buckets. And being here with these two Superbirds reminds me that we will be at the Chrysler Carlisle Nationals next weekend, uh, set up with two of our big haulers. We're gonna have a giant set up and we're gonna be the place to be if you're gonna be at Carlisle Nationals. So bring your Challenger over to us, let us install a strut brace or a catch can or a Martin shifter. Um, installation cost is free. So all you gotta do is pull up, purchase the part from us directly there at Carlisle. Our guys will put it right in for you and you'll be on your way. Um, if you have a certain color that you wanna make sure you have, uh, that we have in stock on our strut bars. Just give us a call, hit us up on Facebook, comment below, say, I got a Yellow Jacket 2014 Challenger. Want to make sure I got a Yellow Jacket bar there, and we'll have it there for you, waiting on you to get installed. So we're going to head out in the main shop now. Okay, so earlier we were hanging out up in the engine shop, and we talked about the 5.7 uh, base 392 that we're building. This is the vehicle that that, that motor's going into. Uh, it's obviously a Challenger RT. And he's got some other plans for the car. We're gonna be doing some Eibach springs. We're gonna be doing some sway bars, wheels, tires, some, uh, some aesthetic decals and front splitter. And um, really cool build that we've got going here. So you can see, obviously the motor's out, but. And he's gonna have an NA car. No supercharger, no turbos, just straight Pettis Garage built 392 going back in this car. A little bit different. Open it up because got a roll cage going in this Challenger. Um, well, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, I believe. We did. So you can see our main man Turner is uh, fabbing up a full custom roll cage uh, for this gentleman. Um, I Turner told me eventually this will get cut with a with a bracket here that makes this piece removable. Um, so when you're in full on race mode cage come through here and you're just driving around town you want some ease of access to get in and out of your car you can take this bar out um, so that'll be really cool Let's see where he's got it all tied in a lot of work that goes into this you gotta take out the entire interior and then figure out all your bands and measurements and I'm just glad I'm not the one that has to do it so it can add a lot of stability to this ride and of course make it way safer Looks like today we've got a 2017 Petty's Garage Mustang here on the dyno. Um, this is the one that we touched on a couple weeks ago where uh, we did a cam and headers and air ride suspension. Um, the gentleman who purchased the car brought it back to us, wanted some personalization done to it. So, uh, supercharger, I don't know what the number is, uh, but Matty G, tuner extraordinaire. Has the car on the dyno, uh, getting her dialed in. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed because I want to see it laid out on the ground, but maybe next week. I haven't been on one of my videos yet, Murph. I, I don't and you are be. so good at talking on camera. No, you just, know better than that. I always just get quiet. Yeah. Right now. Right, like right now? Just like right now. Well. As soon as they get done doing this, they're actually going to go back to work here a little bit. This is work. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you don't think so? Y'all have fun. Go look at something pretty. 
So Murph told me I gotta get back to actual work, so that's what I'm heading to do. Um, got a sketch going on at the moment. If you didn't know, this is this is my main portion of my job. Uh, get to have fun drawing things up on paper and on my nice tablet here. Uh, I'm actually working on coming up with a stripe for the black Hellcat that we just showed you with the roll cage. Um, so I'm gonna head back and do that. Thanks for tuning in this week, everybody. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Patty's Garage channel. Uh, catch up on all our other episodes. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Posting all the time, trying to keep you guys updated with all the really cool stuff we've got going on here. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody.